Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. Today we are shopping my wish list at skinstore.com. Insert balloons and applause, yay. <laughs> so I'm excited for this video. And this video is also kindly sponsored by skinstore.com. So thank you to them. They sent over some goodies for me to try and I got to basically do what I love to do, which is shop. So I will explain what I'm going to be doing. And this is a new series on my channel where I am basically going to be shopping my wish list and then reviewing what I got from my wish list. So those of you out there who can relate to this, raise your hand um, at Sephora, at skinstore.com, maybe at Ulta or wherever you shop, even Target. What I do is I like start adding things to the, my wish list or my favorites, whatever it's called. And because obviously like I can't just buy everything at once all the time. And this is what I would buy if I could just get everything. And it's just a way of kind of like keeping a bookmark or tabs on the stuff I want to try. And this is just pretty much my favorite way of shopping. And I know a lot of people out there do this as well. Or you save it all up for a big sale and then you can purchase more because you're getting some discount. So with that said, I do have a discount for everything that I will be talking about. And you can get 25% off using the code Dana R. I will list it on the screen. I will list it below with the links and everything. So basically, yes, this is your opportunity to shop your wish list, maybe, or to pick up a few things that I have talked about and I'm gonna tell you, I'm raving about and get a huge discount. 25% off is to me, it's big. Like sometimes they give you like 10% off and it's like, well, whatever. 25% off is really going to make a difference for some of these products. So without further ado, please do like, well, you can like it now. You can like it in the middle. You can like it at the end. You know, you know the drill and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let's get into it because I've got a lot to cover. All right. We're on skinstore.com. One of my very favorite sites for skincare. And uh, you can see recommended for me. These are the types of things that I look for. Um, yeah, that, that, that really fits. And I wanted to show you guys what I have up here in my wish list. Oh, where is my wish list? There it is. This is one of the best things that I do on skinstore.com or Sephora or Ulta. I have my favorites saved here. And that way I know like when something maybe is out of stock like this Vichy one, when it comes back in, it's there waiting for me. I've seen this uh, La Roche Posay one around a lot and it's kind of just there waiting. And so this is what I do pretty much on every site that I shop often. And it just reminds me if I forget, I have it written down usually too, but I like to place things here. And then new brands like this Lumiere, um, it's new to me and I've seen it at Target as well. And so I have a few things like, well, three things in here and it's just kind of a reminder. So this is my wish list right now. You can see, I wish this Vichy one was in stock right now, this one over here, but I'm going to go through them now and let's talk about my favorites and which one is a flop and which one is a fine. Okay. So I have a full face of makeup, like my full face and I teach in the morning. So I like to like look presentable and I figured that this was a great way to showcase the product number one. So the very first product that I have is the DHC cleansing oil. You guys, I have had this in my wish list and have been thinking about it for probably four to five years. I think it's the first one that I ever heard about and it's $14, which is 70 milliliters or 2.3 fluid ounces. So it's a very, very affordable cleansing oil. I would say one of the most affordable and you can of course find it on skinstore.com. It also does come in a larger size, but I think this is a pretty perfect size. So this is just like a cleansing balm. You guys have heard of them before. And what you do is, well, <laughs> I will put some on my hand and yeah, we're gonna do it right here. I did like how my makeup looked today, but for the sake of science and showing you guys, I wanna take it all off. So the one of the benefits of this one is if you have sensitive skin, it's actually pretty great because it only has eight ingredients in it. They're very basic and non-irritating. So the main one that like the oil part is olive oil and olive oil is super antioxidant rich and it's just going to be one of those like good for all skin types type of thing. But also as a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm or anything that's washing your face, the ingredients aren't as important just because you are washing them off. So I always keep that in mind. So the way this video is going to go is I'm basically going to tell you, is it a find? Is it a flop 
or as I like to call in the middle, is it a flind? <laughs> because sometimes it's not as black and white as like, yes, I love it, no, I hate it. It's somewhere in the middle. So this one I would say is a flind. That's my own word, I made that up. And the reason I say that is because I think the price is really great and I think it does its job, but I also just don't love the, the format of having an oil. I, the bottle that I have, since I've already used quite a bit of it, oh gosh, it's going all the, down the side. It's just covered in oil and I don't love that because I feel like anytime you squeeze any out, you're gonna cover the bottle. So it's just a like personal preference and that's not really anything against the brand or the product. It's just not my favorite delivery method. Um, I also find oils to be just messy in general. So for me, cleansing bombs are just a better method but let's take it off now. So you guys know the drill. This is a cleansing balm, oil, whatever. So it emulsifies with water and it basically takes all of your makeup, all of your sunscreen, whatever else you have on off. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. All right, we're all clean. So once again, this is a flind for me. And I just say that because it's not my favorite delivery method. I don't like an oil, I prefer a balm. But if you love an oil, this is so the one because it's just a bare bones, affordable one. I mean, why would you spend so much money on a cleansing balm when you're just rinsing it off your face? Like to me, I don't know. It's just that more affordable ones work and it doesn't strip your skin. Like my skin doesn't feel tight right now. It just feels like my makeup's off. So flind. Don't love it, don't hate it. Okay, next one, I am gonna kinda do this now because this is a resurfacing mask and I'm gonna put it on my face. This is one of those products that you use maybe once a week and it is a mask, so I forgot to mention the brand. <laughs> this is the Cor Cores, Cores? I never heard Cores, we'll go with that. Um, triple dose resurfacing mask. And I had this in it as a sample and I fell in love with it, so it was like immediate adding to wish list. I just can't justify buying it right this second, but going on my wish list for sure. And I love exfoliating masks. I like physical exfoliants, I like chemical exfoliants, and I like enzymatic. So that is one of the benefits of this one. It has all three. So some of the chemical ones in it are glycolic acid and then a natural form of salicylic acid, which comes from willow bark extract. That's actually one of the ingredients I use in one of my products, so I know it's a great product. And then some of the physical exfoliants, you have pomegranate seed powder, which is the actual, like kind of like the roughness that you feel. And then the enzymatic one, which is one you don't see as often, but basically pomegranate extract is one of those things that actually has enzymes that help kind of um, turn the skin over. It smooths your skin and it minimizes the appearance of pores. So all of those different types of exfoliants are great. And I love to see when a product has more than one, just because you're getting different properties from it. So I put it on, you rub it around your face for a little bit, and then it says to leave it for three to five minutes. So I will finish up doing that and then I'll come back and tell you if it's a flop or a find. All right, we're back. I'll rinse it off now, but there's nothing really to see. I mean, so these things kind of work, they do dry down a little bit because it, this one does have kale and clay in it. It also has one of the best ingredient lists that I've seen, but I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, it's $39 and you do get a substantial amount. You get 75 milliliters or 2.54 fluid ounces, but it's pricey. I wouldn't say that this is a luxury product, but I would say that the brand itself is kind of higher end, maybe a little bit pricey for some people. Um, I do think that it is worth it for me personally, but I have to say that this one is probably more of a flind for me and it's really solely due to the price. So I can see a lot of people just like not wanting to buy it because of the price alone. But for me, I think it's worth it, especially because you use it once a week. You're not gonna go through this bottle quickly at all. You'll probably have it for like a solid year, if not longer. Um, but you know, I do have to keep in mind that a lot of people that's too much. So that's why I kind of am categorizing it as a flind. For me personally, it's a find and I am so, so excited. I also love, I freaking love the smell of it. Like it's out of this world. I don't know if it necessarily smells like pomegranate, but I do just love the smell. And I like that it's basically gonna cut all of my other exfoliants into one. So I don't need to use a toner that has salicylic acid. I don't need to use a scrub. I just need to use one thing because it's got all of them. So 
If that's important to you, if cutting down on the number of products you have, this would be a good one, and I would say it would be a find for you. But I also understand sometimes price is a, a, a very real factor, so that's why I categorized it as a flind. Okay, my face feels so nice right now. Like, this is just the ideal cleansing oil or cleansing balm scrub once a week for that one. The other you can use all the time. And then next up is a toner. So this one is called the Q&A Niacinamide Daily Toner. So I don't talk about toners often on my channel and that is because I don't really love them. I always try them. You, if you saw how many I had, you'd be like, oh, for a girl who doesn't like toners, you have a lot of them. Yes, I know, that's true. But I just don't see as much of a difference on my skin as maybe other people do. And that's okay. It's just, that's not like the product that I live and die for. But I was really intrigued by this one because it does say niacinamide, which is one of the best ingredients out there. I put it in a lot of my own products. It basically helps to minimize the appearance of pores. It also can help regulate your sebum. So if you have more oily skin, that's one of those things that helps keep it under control. So I always love to see a toner that actually has kind of like a targeted purpose. If it's just a hydrating toner, I'm like, ah, uh, no, like I don't need that. I have moisturizers for that. So for me, I don't necessarily want to see just a generic toner. I want to see one that actually has like a very, very specific and maybe like small purpose. So that's why I tried this one. Um, I'm putting it on my reusable cotton pad. Um, I also like this one because it's super affordable and I've seen this brand Q&A on skinstore.com quite a bit and it's just one of those, it like kind of reminds me of Inky List or one of those other brands where there's not, there aren't a lot of frills to it, but it seems to kind of, oh, just got that in my eye, ah. but it seems to really have a targeted purpose, which again, I said, if I'm going to use a toner, it's going to be something like that. It's also, um, really affordable. So this was $11 and this is, it looks small, but this is 3.4 fluid ounces or a hundred milliliters. So I think for a toner, that's a pretty good price. Um, and you're not going to find one out there that beats it unless it's maybe the ordinary. So for me, this is a flind. I know the first three are all flines. That's not on purpose. I'm just going in order of how you would use them. But the only reason again, that this is a flind, just like the cleansing oil is because for me, it's not something that I need in my skincare routine every single day. But if you are somebody that really, really sees a benefit from toners, especially if you have more oily skin, this is a really great option. And I haven't seen a lot of others out there that are sensitive, but also targeted. So this is a great option. All right, we're moving right along. Now, <laughs> this one might be my favorite thing that I got. Actually, I don't know. I got a lot of really good things. So I have been looking at this for a while because this is the new to me especially, but I think it's a new thing from La Roche-Posay. This is called the Hydrophase HA Rich. And basically it's an all-in-one moisturizer, but it really does kind of double as a serum and a moisturizer. And they don't actually market it that way, but after I started using it, I was like, oh, I don't need a serum before this. This is enough. It's this interesting um, kind of texture. It's thin, like it doesn't look super rich, but it is rich. So you don't need a ton of it unless you have very, very dry skin and you can use this morning or night. Um, but it's just something that I've fallen in love in love with. The feel is so nice, but I also feel that it stays and like lasts on my skin. So a lot of times you find a moisturizer and you get it and you put it on and your skin just soaks it up to the point where you're like, I need more now. This one I have not found to be like that. It is this summer right now, so I definitely need like a little bit of a less of a moisturizer, but I've been using this morning and night and it's been really, really great on my skin. It does have hyaluronic acid as the name would suggest. And the, one of their claims, which I've seen this a lot lately, where was it? Um, the Peter Thomas Roth sunscreen, where they say that it has 72 hours of hydration, like long lasting hydration. And that's a claim that I can't necessarily back up, but I do feel like there's something to it because my skin has just been feeling really nice after using it. So it does retail for $35.99, which is a little bit more pricey. And it's 50 milliliters, which is 1.69 fluid ounces. So it is on the like mid-range price, but the way I think about it is 
if I had to buy a serum and a moisturizer, I would definitely be spending that much money. So I think this is a pretty affordable thing if you think about it like that. Now the one downside is it's not vegan. It does have beeswax in it. Otherwise the ingredients are actually really good for kind of a big brand name. Um, I think they're they're doing a better job of kind of being intentional about what they put in it and what they don't. But if you are vegan, this would not be one that you could use. And what is it, Dana? That's what you're asking. Everyone's asking. There's this one hair, just always like that. Is it a find? Is it a flop? What do you think? It's a find. This one, definitely gonna be repurchasing. I freaking love this stuff. I wanna lather it all over my body. I put it on morning and night. I love the application method with a squeeze tube. I like that it's very slim. You can travel with it very easily. And it really does seem to give me hydration longer than just when I put it on, which is one of the most important things for me, long lasting hydration. So it's a find. Okay, I kind of went out of order, but whatever. <laughs> so the next one is the, I looked this up actually, it's called Lumi, even though it looks like it should be like Lumien, Lumien, but it's not, it's Lumi. And this is a Swedish brand. And as I mentioned earlier, this is one of those brands that I've seen in Target quite a bit. This is an under eye cream, by the way. I'm just so excited to put it on my face. Um, this is a brand out of Sweden. And I was so intrigued by this brand. I have, I think like three or four things saved in my favorite list. And it's just one of these brands where I'm like, how are the prices so low? And your, your products, they seem so great. So they say that this one reduces darkness under your eyes, which is from the stabilized vitamin C. They also say it has wild Arctic cloudberry, which is something I've never heard of, but apparently it has vitamin A, vitamin E, and omega fatty acids. So I'm like, yes, please, these all sound great. And I actually have seen noticeable differences and feel like that I can feel it working, which is a big thing for me with under eye creams. A lot of times with under eye creams, I put it on and nothing feels different. Nothing looks different. This one, it feels light. It feels refreshing. It feels just kind of like it actually is depuffing my eyes, even though it doesn't have any caffeine in it. Um, it's just one of these products where I'm like, I can tell from the very first moment I put it on that I like it. It's also um, $14.99. You only get 15 mils, but that's pretty standard for an eye cream. Um, I just love the price of it. And I think that it's a really affordable and accessible brand. And so this is a big, big, big find for me. Okay, we're kind of gonna switch up the order just because that would be like my normal morning routine. And then the next thing I would do is put sunscreen on. But I wanna show you two things that I use at night before putting my sunscreen on. So I'm gonna have the most moisturized, richest face today, and it's gonna be perfect, and I'm gonna love it. But the next thing we have is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal. This one, so intrigued by. So $28, and you get 75 milliliters, which is quite a bit of product. And it's definitely got a gel consistency. I'm only gonna use a little because it is like, noon and I don't want to put as much as I would put on at night. Um, but it's super lightweight. It's a gel, as I showed you, and it has hyaluronic acid, which like give me all the hyaluronic acid there is. So they have this patented aqua bioral, which is out of all the French thermal waters. They say that this one has the highest density of minerals in it. Um, and it comes from French volcanoes, which all of this sounds so fancy and so like, ooh, I like it. And then I was reading up about it and I was like, wait, does France have volcanoes? And yes, they do. So this product and my next one are overnight masks. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but an overnight mask is actually, I would say maybe besides SPF, my like key skincare product. Because the nighttime is when you can put any and everything on your face and you don't have to worry about it being sticky or you don't have to worry about it being shiny. Like just load up on your products because you have eight hours to just sleep and let your skin soak it all up. So this is a product I would definitely recommend for people with normal or oily skin just because the gel consistency. It might not be enough if you have super dry skin, but for me, I think it's one of those ones that maybe in the summertime as an overnight mask, if you have drier skin, it would be fine. Um, and then definitely for people with normal or oily all year round. But for me, I actually double it up. So I will get to that in a second. And this is, this is a find. I think the price is really great, especially for something like Vichy. And I love the feel of it. And it's definitely kind of like the first step in my two-step process. The next step is the Lumi. <laughs> I got another one, I know. So this is the Lumi Nordic Sea Overnight Bright Sleeping Cream. 
Again, super intrigued by this brand. This one was $20 and it's for 50 milliliters. So a little bit less of product than the Vichy, but for less of a price as well. Um, this one is hydrating. This one is rich. Look at that. Okay, I really need to not go crazy. I, I go crazy with creams. This one, the second I opened it and put it on, I was like, oh, come to me, baby. <laughs> This one I would recommend for more dry skin. If you have oily skin, you could use it at night. It is an overnight cream, but it might be a little too heavy for you. Um, but it's just got this like luxurious feel and it has a little bit of a scent. I think both of them do. They use that wild Arctic cloudberry extract in a lot of their products. They also have vitamin C, vitamin E, um, the omega fat fatty acids, and it's got a lot of other really good ingredients. So the thing I like about this more than anything is that it's rich, but it's not heavy. So sometimes you'll put something on at night and you're like, oh, like it feels like Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Like I can't do anything and this is terrible. This one soaks in, but it doesn't soak into the point where you wake up the next morning and it's all gone. It actually stays on your skin all night. And I don't even care about the vitamin C part. I just care that it's hydrating my skin. And I think for dry skin people, this is a really, really great option. So we have this one for normal to oily skin, this one for dry skin, and both of them are fines in my book. Last up guys, we're there. We're at the sunscreen. I, like I mentioned though, these are overnight masks. Normally you would not put these on in the day and then follow it with sunscreen, but I'm just staying in my house today. I'm not going anywhere. So like, let's load up on the moisture. <laughs> Why not? And the next thing I have, the last product, the last step in your skincare is sunscreen. Absolute must. If you're on this channel, you know that I love sunscreen and I've seen this for a while. This is the By Terry UV base. It's a whopping $55, so I could include it in my like Sephora haul one with um, all my high-end sunscreens. It also is only one fluid ounce. So yes, this is as small as it looks. It's tiny, but it's a luxury product. So they know their audience and people that love by Terry or love luxury products are going to buy this. Me personally, I think that's a lot for a pretty basic sunscreen. So this is an organic or chemical sunscreen. And the filters in this one are 3% avobenzone, 6.8% oct octinoxate, and 4.5% octosalate. So it's a pretty standard sunscreen. There's not any like fancy filter in it. Um, and it does a really nice job of being easy and enjoyable to put on. I just think for $55 and you're getting 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce, like you can find way better options. Before I go any further, this is a flop for me. And it's not necessarily that it's a bad product. It's just, again, like I think it's overpriced and I think there are other options like I mentioned. Also, I'm just putting, I'm, I'm slathering it on like I do with all sunscreens. But with a chemical or organic sunscreen, you can also put a lot on and it's not really hard to blend in. You're not gonna have a white cast. So for me, there are a few options that would be, I would say like better options if this is something that you like, this like application, which is very nice. Um, I would say either the Paula's Choice, the super light hydrating whatever one, I will put a picture here, or the new La Roche-Posay Hyla B5, I believe, also put a picture. I've tried both of them and I have a review coming on the La Roche-Posay one. Um, but those would be kind of similar options that kind of give you the same effect because it is very dewy and it also is considered like they call it a primer. So this would be great under makeup. It is a little tacky, not too tacky, but you also get a really nice dewy finish. So I would say those other two are gonna do the same thing, but for a like cheaper price. So this one also has essential oils in the ingredient list and it has a scent to it. It also kind of smells like an old lady. Um, so I don't like that. I know a lot of European high-end like luxury products are scented with that kind of smell, but to me it's very unnecessary and that's just another reason that it's a flop for me. So guys, that is the first episode of Flop or Find Shopping My Wish List. I hope you enjoyed it. This one was so much fun. I've also been loving a lot of these products. I mean, the majority of them were, I would say, finds or a few flines and only a few flops. Good job for you, Dana. I would say that my wish list held up pretty well and I think it's a fun idea. So if you guys like this idea, I wanna maybe see one from a different brand, maybe Sephora, Ulta, wherever, tell me in the comments below which store you wanna see it from and I will do my best to get that out to you. 
And again, a big thank you to SkinStore.com for sponsoring this video. None of this would be possible without them, and I'm very excited to be working with them. If you like any of these products, if any of them seem to be things that you want in your routine, definitely check out the website. You're going to be getting that 25% off. That's huge. And of course, you would be supporting my channel, which is always helpful. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.